So Mark, tell me about structural highlighting. Structural highlighting are these lines that are drawn between the begin and end of structural blocks inside your source code or your XAML code. And uh, you can see uh, the example here on the left, we've got structural highlighting turned on, and on the right is normal Visual Studio without the feature. Inside, you can see CodeRush is loaded and we've got structural highlighting turned on. And as I scroll through, you can see that each method has a, a reddish colored line next to it. The if blocks have brown lines in it next to them. There's a using block with kind of a light gray line. And uh, so you can get a sense of what you're looking at. There's an initializer here with kind of a grayish blue line. And they just kind of give you a sense of how things line up, where the code is, and it's kind of a quicker way for, to, to look at things. Here's just a couple more examples. If I select this block of code and I wrap a try catch around it, there you can see the try catch there. So you used a selection embedding there to quickly create that wrapping of code around the selected block. But immediately that you had done that, CodeRush immediately leaps in and says, here's the lines to, to show you the structural side of it. That's right. What happens if we uh, have uh, reading somebody else's code maybe, and the, the code is like longer than a page? Will those lines continue off the bottom? Yes, they will. So for example, we were talking about making changes here. So we could take this block of code, put it in a try catch, and maybe take that, put it in a try finally. So if I'm trying to follow a, a rather complicated piece of code, I could trace one of these lines down. Or I could even count there are X, Y, Z, or maybe three lines from the left is the block I'm interested in. And even I could use the color of the lines to help me understand which one it was I was wanting to keep track of. Yeah, exactly. The other thing that you may be wondering about is what happens if somebody has a different style. So example here, you can see I, I've got these on the outside and you can see what happens with the lines there. So you can see how they still connect up. The options for that, inside editor painting structural highlighting and you can see this show connections with and right now we've got the option horizontal and vertical lines but one of the options I could select is diagonal lines and this is useful if you do normally line up your begin and end braces and whoops and maybe you have got a problem somewhere if I just hit the B character for the templates I can create blocks and braces like this and what happens if I re remove one there you go so if you have one missing there, you'll you'll get something like this if you have the diagonals. So it's immediate, it'll immediately tell you something's wrong. Okay. Also, Roy, I just want to point out that on the toolbar, we have this button right here, which allows you to very quickly turn it on or turn it off. That's very good. So if I wanted to see only just for a few seconds where is everything, I can toggle it on, have a look, turn it off again. Exactly. So, I mean, it's a very nice, simple feature that shows you the structural side of your code in a more visual fashion. It's completely optional. You can have it on, you can have it off. Uh, for some, it'll be very useful. For others, that's fine. They can just clear it away. If you want to learn more about CodeRush and all its features, check out the documentation on our website. Thanks for watching.